This is the uh, Tayelet here in our Mullen at Sieve. And you can see we're looking down into uh, Jabal Mukaber, one of the um, Arab neighborhoods of East Jerusalem. I'm just going to raise the camera here a bit. Um, and you can also see actually the separation barrier uh, security fence. And the camera now is facing eastward. Uh, so there's a nice little garden area down here, um, which is really nice if you're looking to for a place to get an amazing view of the old city. The view from here at nighttime is really beautiful. Uh, probably the garden right now might be a little bit sketchy because we are in the midst of this uh, heightened security situation here in Israel. I don't know, that's what I keep calling it. I can't think of a better word. You can actually see my reflection there with my monopod. First, try, first time using the setup. I'm just going to wander around here for a couple of minutes. There is a lovely uh, kind of grove forest some reason whenever I make these YouTube videos I use the strangest words uh, there is a bunch of trees here how about that and uh, at the end of this promenade is the UN headquarters and I just mentioned in a clip I recorded on my phone I've actually been there twice I say this not to brag but because uh, government house is off limits to the public it's invitation only and uh, some guy at the UN Irish soldier who I met through one of the Irish Embassy events uh, kindly invited me up there on two occasions for uh, Patrick's Day parties and whatnot. So I think unfortunately because of my epic bridge burning on Twitter over the last couple of weeks that I will not be invited again for a third time. But I did enjoy going there and I did enjoy their uh, hospitality. Nice little butterfly there. And uh, this, is the, this is freaky. I've never been here and it's been so quiet. Um, as I say, I'm not exactly sure what the cause of that is. Uh, but this is the Tayalet in Ermona Natsiv. And there was actually plans to put up a um, Ferris wheel here, which drew a lot of opposition and people were accusing of that would make it into like a Jewish Disneyland. And I must say I'm kind of opposed myself because I think the Tayalet is uh, really something special. Nice place, shared space for picnics among the various communities in the city and I think to uh, to make it tacky with stuff like um, ferris wheels and you know stalls I think it would just be a bad idea for Jerusalem so count me as one of the opponents of that plan anyway I think that's about really all there is to all I can show you on this path I'm actually walking towards the UN headquarters speaking of which um, and just to be annoying one more time I'm recording this on my camcorder so I will be watching this back on YouTube to see how the... I'm just using the internal microphone actually, I'm not even using external mic, so I'll be watching this to see how it, uh, how it turned out in terms of both the stability, image stability as I'm walking, in terms of the audio pickup, and uh, what other technical factors do I, uh, am I looking at at the moment. I think that's about it really. Anyway, this is bringing, brought to you from, actually I'm not even in the Tayelet anymore, should probably turn around because technically I am uh, meandering down a mountain towards uh, Arab East Jerusalem at a time of rioting, which is probably not the smartest thing I've ever done in my life. True story, I attempted to climb down this valley once uh, after a visit to UN. But look, I've been, I've been rewarded for my, um, for my uh, decision to go over here with an amazing, amazing view. So what you're looking at again, as you say, this is Jabal Mokabar. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, uh, there's a few more landmarks that somebody who knows more about local geography than me could do a better job picking out. And you can actually see, in fact, I'm going to use a zoom feature and just show you where you can see the uh, separation fence, uh, security barrier. That's that concrete, meandering concrete structure. And that's basically, you can actually walk, I did the walk before, you can walk to it from um, the old city. It takes about 40 minutes uh, going into a place called uh, Ras al Amud. Uh, this is my best attempt to pronounce Arabic correctly, Ras al Amud. And the fence, uh, the, uh, the actual border fence, intersects Abu Dis and splits it into two. And uh, where you can see that concrete, you get right up to there's a petrol station there uh, that's literally on the fence covered in graffiti. So, um, it's, as I said, it's about a 40 minute walk. I'm just going to keep going down. What the hell? It's about a 40 minute walk and uh, it gets progressively more edgy as you go away from the old city and deeper and deeper into East Jerusalem. I'm not actually sure how far I can go here. If you can actually snake down this kind of mountain. 
uh, but uh, seeing as I'm wearing flip-flops this is probably as far as far as I'll venture for the video anyway so I uh, hope this video is interesting this is the garden below the toilet